Okay, so uh, before I start, I first want to just say that I have been testing this guy out and I had no problem so far with the R9 system. But I really want to just uh, give my full review after I get a D16 receiver first. Because I'm, I have ordered a D16 from UB Drone and I'm just waiting for that right now. Otherwise, uh, I guess today's main topic is talking about the design changes that I've seen inside uh, this guy that was not in the X90 Plus. Because uh, when I popped off the, the back lid to go... Uh, Changed tension of my gimbals, I kind of realized that there were some really, really cool things that I saw in this that was not inside that. So, let's get to it, I guess. Well, uh, I just took this apart, and uh, I really wanted to just let you guys know that I'm going to be analyzing this from a convenience slash design perspective rather than an electronics perspective, because I'm really a bit of a layman at analyzing electronics, so I guess uh, here we go with the first thing. The first thing I kind of noticed about this was that it had this uh, knob style switch, knob style button and it's definitely easier to uh, get used to this kind of configuration as opposed to the X9D with the three buttons there and it's definitely easier than getting used to this kind of GUI which is well, kind of annoying but uh, another thing uh, that I really liked about this is that when I first opened it up I saw that everything was on one side and the X9D Plus, having it on two sides is just, in my opinion, just really messy, and I just honestly did not like it because this created a lot of, uh, a bit more hassle of taking it apart and just having to deal with this ribbon cable, and I guess that's that. The third thing I really liked about this is that, uh, the, the front shell actually goes around the switch, so this switch actually, the, these two switches actually are not going anywhere. Uh, the X9D Plus, actually these switches over between the shells, they're kind of just flopping around when you open them, and I found that to be really annoying. So, yeah, otherwise, just another note that I'm not sure if this is true or not, but I feel like these are actually the QX7 gimbals. Uh, I messaged this, there, there's a guy who messaged me, and uh, apparently he, he wanted to know the dimensions of the gimbals to see if... Uh, you can install an M7 Hall sensor gimbal, and apparently he said that uh, after I give him the dimensions, that they're exactly the same as the dimensions of the M7 Hall sensor gimbal. So maybe this might be compatible with the Hall sensor gimbal upgrade. I'm not sure. All right. Uh, well, another. Well, moving on to some of the things I kind of dislike about this. The first thing I dislike is that this antenna is kind of a bit mounted a bit uh, tightly, so it's actually a bit harder to move this. There's a bit of friction here. But, yeah, I guess that's that. I don't really use the 2.4 anyways, so it doesn't really matter as much for me, but I just wanted to just let you guys know that. Uh, another thing I kind of dislike about this is that the is that the module is actually mounted here. So I feel like this is kind of a weak point because it's sticking 90 degrees from the actual PCB, so when you put this in, it's kind of a bit weird because uh, it's just a bit of a weak point in my opinion. But yeah, moving on from that, uh, another thing I kind of just dislike about this is that, um, as you can see here, uh, it actually accepts the 18650 packs, and that's a, honestly a kind of a good thing and a bad thing. 18650 packs are kind of a bit stable, but at the same time, they kind of, from my experience, have a bit of a lower am amperage draw, so... Uh, if you're running like a crossfire on 2 watts, I think you might be a bit out of luck there, because, you know... You might be getting some voltage sag, so uh, I honestly wish FR Sky could release a new plate that could allow it to just have a normal lipo uh, battery, uh, normal lipo battery plug-in. I guess that'd be really nice, but I guess that's just something we're just gonna have to deal with for now. But uh, I guess uh, last but not least, I just wanted to say that it's just kind of annoying to just have this uh, power button here. Uh, I honestly prefer the switch a bit more, but. Yeah, uh, I guess that's all folks, till next time.